gamma dist function. In this video, we'll compare the gamma dist function with the Erlang distribution. So here's the formula of the gamma dist, which is gamma dist of x, gamma alpha, gamma beta, gamma zero. X is the value which evaluate the, the gamma dist function and alpha is the shape, beta is the scale. It is stated that when alpha is a positive integer, the gamma is, is known as the Erlang function. So here we have the Erlang function, which is equal to lambda to raised to the power k times k raised to the power k minus 1 times exponent negative lambda x over factorial k minus 1. And the value of k is equal to alpha, which is the shape. So we assign these values. Data validation. List of items. And our lambda is the rate, which is the reciprocal of beta, and also the reciprocal of mu. Mu is between 0.5, 1, and 2. So data validation. And these are the values of mu. We will have the values of mu, we will have the values of alpha and k. We will rate the lambda is equal to 1 over mu. This is the reciprocal. So if this is 0.5, this one is 2. And the scale is the reciprocal of lambda. So 1 over lambda. And it is 0.5. So we'll generate the gamma dist first. So it's RA formula. Gamma dist of the x values are alpha, which is also k, and beta, which is actually the reciprocal of mu. And we choose zero because this is probability density function. And here you have the trend line and a trend line equation. So if you have two here, that's the scale or one, that's, did I say two? And this will be, let's say our shape will be three. That's a good start. Next, we generate the data set of the Erlang distribution, which is our formula lambda to the power raised to the power k so this is lambda raised to the power k times x raised to the power k minus 1 x raised to the power k minus 1 times exponent of minus lambda times x. All over factorial k minus one, k minus one. Enter. And here's the trend line equation that matches to our gamma disks. The data set of the gamma disk also match to the Erlang distribution. If we change this to seven, we change this to one, or we change to 0.5. So this completes the use of RA formula and data validation to generate the data set of gamma disk compared to Erlang distribution.
and the use of the chart to generate a trendline and trendline equation of both gamma dist and Erlang distribution.